Today, I have a fun little project for you. We will build analog style servo thermometer. Easy! We'll read the temperature from the temperature sensor and convert it into a servo angle. You wanna see how it's done? Then stick around. To create this project I will need a few 3D printed parts. First we'll have a base to mount two mini breadboards, one for the Arduino and one for the LM35 sensor, and a slot to hold the servo. There will also be a space to fit a 9 volt power bank in the shape of the 9 volt battery. Finally we'll print the front panel of the device and later add a temperature scale label where a hand mounted on the servo will point to the current temperature. Here it is with the mini breadboards already mounted. Let's plug in Arduino. Next is the servo. We connect it to 5 volt ground and the signal pin to digital pin 9. Now let's plug in the LM35 sensor connecting 5 volts and ground with the middle signal pin going to Arduino pin A1. I will slot the power bank in place, but for now I will leave it disconnected. Finally I can mount the front panel component onto the base. Shoot, I forgot to print one more part. We don't have the hand. Here is the design. Since it's a tiny part, let's take a closer look at the printing process. I am using an Anacubic Mega S printer and PLA filament to create this piece. And here it is. Now let's check if it fits the part mounted on the horn. Perfect, it fits like it was factory made. Initially I planned to 3D print the scale directly, but it wouldn't have looked as clean, so instead I designed, printed it as a label and stuck it onto the front panel. Let's look at the code. It begins with including the servo library, which provides the necessary functions for controlling a servo motor. The LM35 sensor is connected to analog pin A1 and the servo motor is connected to digital pin D9. A servo object is created to control the servo. In the setup function serial communication is initialized to enable debugging via serial monitor. The servo motor is attached to pin D9 and it is initially set to 0 degrees position. A message is printed to the serial monitor to indicate the program has started. The loop function implements the main logic. It begins by initializing a variable to store the total temperature and specifying the number of readings to average, set to 10. A for loop is used to take 10 temperature readings from the LM35 sensor. Each reading is converted from the analog value to a temperature in Celsius using the LM35's conversion formula. For this you can check my LM35 tutorial. The temperature readings are summed up and a 20 millisecond delay is added between each reading to avoid noise and stabilize the measurements. After the loop completes, the average temperature is calculated by dividing the total temperature by the number of readings. This temperature is then mapped to a servo angle. The mapping converts the temperature range from zero into a corresponding servo angle range from zero to 180 degrees. To ensure the servo angle stays within its physical limits, the value is constrained by zero to 180 degrees. Once the average temperature is processed, the servo motor is moved to the calculated angle using the right method. Additionally, the average temperature and the corresponding servo angle are printed to the serial monitor for debugging purposes. A delay of one second is added at the end of the loop before the next set of readings begins. This approach ensures that the servo movement is stable and responsive to changes in temperature while filtering out noise by averaging multiple measurements. We are ready to test the code. Before doing that, I realized something. I won't be using a full 0 to 180 degrees range, so I needed to calibrate the device. Now the range is limited to 15 to 155 degrees. I have also inverted the mapping so the largest angle represents the smallest temperature and vice versa. Thermometer is ready. Let's load the code. 
As you can see the servo starts with 0 degrees and then moves to an angle that roughly corresponds to 22 degrees Celsius, which is room temperature. To make this device portable for outdoor temperature readings, we'll power it using 9 volt power bank. The positive terminal connects to VIN pin and the negative terminal connects to the Arduino's ground. With our temperature device displaying the room temperature, let's take it outside. It takes some time for the reading to stabilize and show the correct outdoor temperature. To save time, I sped up the footage. Now let's bring it back inside. This time the device returned to the room temperature more quickly because I touched the sensor with my finger, which helped expedite the process. So how did you like this little project of mine? It may not be the most practical device, but it perfectly showcases how you can control the servo using external input. If you would like to recreate this project, you can find STL 3D print files on my Patreon website. As always, like, share this video, subscribe to my channel, support me through PayPal, Patreon, channel membership and coffee. I'll see you guys next time. Over and out.